Greetings. Thank you so much for joining me here. We're going to be looking at some tarot messages for today. So here I pulled a card for money, work, stuff like that. Here in the middle, we see a card for relationships, love. This could also be family or coworker situations too, just relationships in general. And then kind of a general message here with the nine of cups coming up reversed. Okay, so to start it out, this is a, a really great card actually to see in the money and work position. It's a seven of pentacles. And this says that if you are putting work into projects now, it's going to pay off later, especially when you see these cards combined. You have to be very careful what you wish for in this period of time. Make sure that you really want it because what you're saying and what you're calling in is going to have a higher chance of coming to you so you, you want to be aware of your thoughts and what you're putting out there there's a a big um a pool an ability i guess you will to be able to store up money in this time but there's a need to be persistent and disciplined and organized to be able to make sure that that happens And then over here in the love relationship and, you know, could be also, like I said, coworkers or family, things like that. We have the five of cups coming up reversed. Now, this is telling me that you guys are feeling perhaps um, some form of loss of something. Some, it could be even a former sense of identity, uh, it could be a separation, it could be um, an actual, like a job loss, monetary loss, it could be something like that. But there's something that ca caused you some type of loss and it's it's caused you some pain. This five of cups reversed is, <laughs> is saying it's gonna, it's gonna still be painful for a while, that's just kind of what it is. But there's also a, a call here it's going out that's saying and you see that here with this little trumpet guy he's calling this out and he's saying look you know there is a need to really release any resentments that one is holding from the past because otherwise they can um, bear onto your health in a negative way causing like depressions anxieties perhaps even like other health issues on deeper ways and so really making sure that you're checking in with your diet today checking in with certain things it's going to be important Okay, and we see that there with the Five of Cups reversed. When we have this general message here, we have Nine of Cups coming up reversed. This is saying that some of you guys could be acting selfishly, foolishly, or um, not acting out of selfishness or foolishness. And this could come back to either reward you or stunt you later. So it's kind of like a call to look at. Are you procrastinating? Are you saying you're going to do certain things but not getting them done? Um, are you trying to conquer or do things, but you're not really doing them right? Um, you know, are you going too fast or too slow? It's kind of like checking the calibration there with how you feel satisfied with what you do, if that makes sense. So there's a call to stay persistent today, a, a call to get organized with where one is wanting to head because things that we get clear about today and tomorrow, we're going to be seeing, um, a lot of that stuff is going to be coming in faster within the next couple of weeks and months. So getting pretty clear on that is what's necessary here. So that way you know what you're going to be harvesting. Releasing any negativity from the past. There could be a dwelling on negative things from the past that's hindering you from seeing things in the future. This is also a card for those of you guys that have been single for a while and things like that. This is a card that's saying it's okay to open your heart to love again. But it's also really important to see how you, like what you find fulfillment in. If you could have whatever you wanted, what would that look like? And, you know, are you taking the necessary steps to get to that place? Or does there need to be some shifts or changes along the way? But I feel like this is overall saying that whatever you guys are focusing your mind and attention on today is going to bear fruit. But how you allow yourself to feel towards it plays a very big role and that could be a large part of the lessons that are meant to be learned through this journey. All right, guys, that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining. 
If you guys are interested in this wand, it is available or any of the crystals that you ever see or candles that you see in my videos, all of them are available if you want to send me a message. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. You feel free to comment down below. Let me know how you like these readings. If there's any specific questions you want to see on a pick a card, stuff like that, you can always drop it down in the questions or comments down below. All right, guys, have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.